What I will try to do now is not not really teach, but teach you anything that you probably don't know. But I will I will try to to share uh, some of the reasons uh, that I am so fascinated about Cyclades. First of all, I would like to zoom out a little bit and see uh, see the, the broader context. The geological history of this place is very complex, and there are most probably uh, each each island is an eroded summit of a mountain. And at some point in the geological history, they were connected between themselves with the land bridges. At some point, the Mediterranean also emptied uh, of water and then it filled up again. Climate also is a factor that will actually be very significant in the coming years. We can no longer speak so much about climate change mitigation as about climate change adaptation. Uh, climate change is here, it is, uh, it's a fact. I have seen the effects of it in the 12, 13 12, years that I've been here. Well, the desert comes to Europe through the Cyclades. In Andros, we know we have constant human presence since the fourth millennia before Christ. These landscapes, many of them could be as old as that. So one, one would ask the question, why should one care for the walking routes? I mean, why one should see value in these routes? And I can answer to you using Andros as an example, of course. We could say that these old walking routes, they, they used to be the veins of all the land uses. These old routes are the keys to understanding the landscape today. One could say that uh, dry stone wall civilization has been a wise example of sustainable living and is still nowadays uh, a very important cultural identity element for the whole area of the Cyclades. What we have done is a replicable methodology, can be copied. We are here to help and share with anybody interested in any island or in any place. People are contacting us and we are very happy to give any kind of information and support. Aegean Wildlife Hospital is the only wildlife hospital in Greece with official license dealing with birds. And the aim of the hospital is to rehabilitate and bring back to the, the wild all the wild animals uh, we receive and uh, usually have been injured or sick. Uh, most of them uh, have to do with uh, the human activities. The small wetlands we destroy in order to use the land for uh, touristic reasons. So migratory birds uh, do not find a place to have some uh, food and water uh, through their trip and they die uh, from exhaustion. Uh, we have a huge problem with illegal hunting in Greece and they, shoot, they just shoot everything. Uh, so we find very many extremely rare and protected birds uh, shot. We have a, a non-ending war through uh, nature and I am afraid this war is going to uh, end with uh, nature becoming more and more uh, poor. But that, that's our main goal, that we, we try to keep the wildlife alive and uh, there out in the wild.